Mr. Chairman, fellow delegates, ladies, and gentlemen, I came here with a carefully prepared speech. But this is no time for oratory. Let me speak to you from the heart. I come before you to place in nomination the name of a man more qualified than any other to represent you in Washington. Oh, you ill-advised. Oh, you poorly counseled. Fly not in the face of heaven's handiwork. Join with us in supporting the man who for five terms in Congress has kept this great territory inviolate. I nominate for the territorial delegate to the Congress of the United States the right honorable Custis Buck see once again the vast herd of buffalo and savage redskin roaming our beautiful territory with no law to trammel them except the law of survival, the law of the tomahawk and the bow and arrow. And then with the westward march of our nation came the pioneer and the buffalo hunter, the adventurous and the bold. And the boldest of these were the cattlemen who seized the wide open range for their own personal domain and their law was the law of the hired gun. But now, now, today, have come the railroads and the people, the steady, hardworking citizens, the homesteader, the shopkeeper, the builder of cities. We need roads to join those cities, dams to store up the waters of the picket wire, and we need statehood to protect the rights of every man and woman, however humble. And how do we get it? I'll tell you how. We get it by placing our votes behind one man. One man. And 
we have that man with us here. He is a man who came to us, not packing a gun, but carrying instead a bag of law books. Yes, he is a lawyer and a teacher, the first west of the Rosy Buttes. But more important, he is a man who has come to be known throughout this territory in the last few weeks as a great champion of law and order. Ladies and gentlemen, I nominate as your delegate and mine to the Congress at Washington, the Honorable Ransom Stoddard! Yeah.